Today we are unlocking the power of DV5's nested row to create some amazing looking image galleries. And not just that, we are going to share 6 free gallery layouts you can download and use right away on your website. So go ahead and check out the blog post link that we will add in the video description below. So whether you are creating a portfolio, showcasing products or telling a visual story, these designs will spark your creativity. So let's dive in and see how nested rows in DV5 can level up your galleries. Alright, so let's start with our blog post. Here is the blog post where we are showcasing all these image galleries. And if you scroll down here, you can go ahead and download all these image galleries. So if you click on this, it will take us to the download section. Now, right now I have already downloaded these files so I can see the download button here. But in your case, you might need to enter your email address. Then you will be able to see this download button. And once we click on download, it's going to download the zip file for these image galleries. And in order to import all these layout inside our DV library, we need to come back here in our DV visual builder. We go to this plus sign in order to add a new layout and we are going to choose saved layout. And here we have an import option. Let's click on this. And now we will select our file. And here you can see the JSON file inside our extracted folder. So let's go ahead and click on this and click on open. Once the file is added, just need to click on import. And this is going to take a few seconds and all the layouts will get imported inside our DV library. And boom, all the layouts are now added inside our DV library. So we can start using any one of them to see how it looks. So if you look back in our blog post, I'm going to start with this gallery and see how we can recreate it so that we can understand how we can use nested rows to create these kind of galleries. So let me just come back here and just to show you how it looks, let's go ahead and import this. So let's click on this and use this layout and it's going to import everything on this page. So this is how our gallery looks like and you can add all these images to create your gallery and maybe you can also add a link to open them as a light box. So let's try to recreate this. So we are going to recreate this section because this is the place where we are using most of the nested rows. So let's see how we can recreate this section. So let me just go ahead and get rid of this part and let's start by adding a new section. We are going to choose a regular one. And we are going to choose two column layout first because in the column number one, we have this part and in column number two, we have all this nested row structure. So we are going to use this style. Let's click on this. And first we are going to add image here. Below this, we have a nested row. So we are going to click on new rows and we choose single column here. And now on the right hand side, first we have this image, then we have a nested row with three column and these three images. So let's create the structure first and then we will add images and then we will apply the style and content. So let's click on this and again we choose image block. And after this, we are going to add new row. We will choose the three column layout and again we will add images. Same for the next one as well and for the third one. Alright, so looks like we have the basic structure ready. Here we can see on the left hand side we have this column number one. On the right hand side in this column number two we have image and three images below this. And in the same way we have created that structure. Now let's go ahead and make it a little bit wide like this one. So if we click on this, let me just move this panel here and we go to design. In sizing, we can see we are using gutter width as one and we have equalized column height with width of 100% and a 95% max width. So let's repeat the same for our structure here or maybe we can just right click here, copy attribute and scroll down and paste attribute for the design. Let's click on this and boom. Now let's go ahead and add our images. So we click here, 
we select the images and I have already uploaded the images here so I'm just going to choose from this like this let's select the next one and we will choose the other three as well All right, looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and create this content section here, like this. So first we will add an icon. Then we have text. And then we have a button. All right, now let's go ahead and copy the attributes from here. And we will paste it here. Let's update our icon like this and we will do the same for our content. We are going to choose all text attributes so that we can copy the style and the content. So we click on this and same goes for the button. Alright, so now it looks pretty close. Now here we have some difference in styling, so we can fix that. So let me just go ahead and copy the attribute from this row. Let's paste it here. Let's do the same with the images as well. All right, so now if we take a look at this, this is the section that we have just created and this was our reference section. So we have pretty much replicated the same design. And this is how we can create image gallery using Nasted Rose. Now just to take it a little bit more advanced, we can click on this image, we go to link and we can make it open as a light box once we click on it. So you can do on all these images or maybe you can leave it as it is. Now back in days, building image galleries could feel like puzzle with missing pieces, uneven images, awkward spacing and endless tweaks. Even Divi 4 required some serious juggling with rows and sections. But Divi 5 changes the game with nested rows. Imagine placing rows inside rows like stacking blocks. It's that easy. This feature lets you craft advanced layer design right in Visual Builder with no coding required. It's infinitely flexible and responsive out of the box. So your galleries shine on every screen. Now if you are new to DB5's nested row, they are the db 5 secret weapon for layout freedom. You can tuck one row inside another, giving you precise control over your design. Want to mix and match modules and rows? Go for it. It's like having a blank canvas where imagination sets the limit. Plus, resizing columns is a breeze. Just drag and drop, no maths required. Now, what makes nested rows so different? Now, in DV5, complex galleries means stitching together rows and speciality sections. That's a bit chunky, right? But nested rows flip that script. You don't need any workarounds or need to be a design wizard to create a beautiful looking gallery. Just go ahead and create two column row, nest a third column row inside and boom, you got an actual layout in minutes. It's intuitive, fast and opens up endless possibilities. Now here are some tips to build interactive image galleries. So ready to make your galleries pop? Here is how. Make sure you add hover effect in DV5's hover mode to bring your images to life. It's super easy. Then make sure you copy and paste attribute features to style images fast to keep things consistent. 
And for responsive perfection, make sure you try the clamp function. Set minimum and maximum sizes and let your images adapt beautifully. And don't skip the previewing on different devices. Tweak padding or stacking with DV's breakpoints for that flawless finish. So can't wait to get started. Make sure you check out the link in the video description below for our blog post where you can find the JSON files that you can download and import it on your DV library. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.